for me um, and today it's gonna to be a video that I haven't done in quite a while this is gonna be a building tune tutorial for you guys um, and it is gonna be featuring the car we have on screen now it is Dom's uh, Dodge Charger from the Fast and the Furious as I'm sure you are all aware um, and in the last car pack uh, this came to Forza Horizon 2 uh, where you can upgrade it and tune it which is a bonus um, so with this video I'm gonna go for the building tune I hope you enjoyed the little intro I've been working on that for a while so I hope you enjoyed that um, so I'm going to go through the build and the tune for this. Um, we'll just get out of this and we'll go have a look at the build and the tune now. Um, now, it has got 900 horsepower to start with. And I'll just go into the right menu, upgrades. Um, it has got 900 horsepower to start with. And you can't add any uh, engine upgrades, which I'm fine with. Because 900 horsepower is quite a lot to have. Anyway, um, I have made a few modifications with this. I didn't want to change it uh, too drastically. Um, although some of you might think I have changed it quite drastically when you see what I've done to it um, but I've tried to do this as a race tune uh, rather than a drift build because there's probably a few of you guys out there who want to drift it and um, there's loads of other channels with drift tunes on I'm sure um, but I want to try and do something a little different and try and use it for a race um, saying that 900 horsepower is a lot to get under control in any car but this is what we've done so we'll start off with platform and handling um, so brakes uh, we've put the race brakes on bit more stopping power uh, definitely needed springs and dampers we've left it stock and um, we haven't you can possibly put the um, off-road ones on if you want um, it does help with the acceleration and the launch apparently according to the stats and um, whether or not you believe them is up to you um, and it takes away from the handling and braking but I've left it with the stock ones now you can still tune the stock ones um, even though they are stock uh, they are still tunable um, so you don't need to mess about with them anyway uh, Anti-roll bars, I've gone with the race ones um, for the rear, they've got race as well. Um, and weight reduction, we've gone with race weight reduction. Now this car just started S1900 um, as standard before you even add any part or take the weight reduction off. Um, so to get the PI down, um, we've had to actually change the tyres, which you'll see in a minute. Um, so the clutch is a uh, sport clutch now i don't usually do any of this this was purely to get it up to 900 i had two pr left to spend um after i did everything i wanted to um so i just added the sport clutch on just to get it up to class um transmission we've got the off-road transmission um you can possibly put the race transmission on if you want uh, you will struggle to get up to 900 though and the pi but it might be worth just giving it a go um it says speed 7.9 5.9 believe me i've had this car going 200 miles an hour um 200 miles an hour for this car isn't a problem um but if you do try that one just let me know how it works out but after this i've gone with the off-road transmission uh drive line uh we've got the race drive line on and differential is the race diff uh, so yeah you guys if you want to have a little play around go in the transmission try the race transmission to see if it makes it any better but obviously build it like this car first then go and test it and then put the race transmission on uh, and let me know in the comments below um, if it's any better or any worse 
um, that would be quite interesting to find out. So as I said, the car starts at S900, S1900 uh, to begin with, and to be able to get the weight reduction on, uh, we've had to go from the stock tyre compound to the off-road tyre compound. Um, Handling-wise, it goes from 8 to 7.8, so we lose 0.2, um, but then we gain all the handling from losing the weight reduction, so it kind of evens itself out either way. Uh, front tyre width is maxed, rear tyre width is maxed as well. Uh, rim style, I've gone with, if I can remember which ones they are, they're not those ones. Um, front rim size, I haven't done anything with their stock, and the same with the rear rim size, their stock as well. So uh, I haven't messed about with those, uh, let's see if you can. Uh, you can possibly change them if you want to, uh, doesn't, rear ones don't add an extra PI, and the front ones do. Um, so yeah, might be interesting to um, see how that works out. So if you try that out, let me know again in the comments below. Uh, aero and appearance, uh, front bumper, we have gone with the race front bumper. Um, it is quite subtle on this, it's nothing massive, so uh, it's nice to see that it doesn't affect the look of the car too much. Uh, rear wing, uh, we've gone with the race rear, rear wing, again it's a minimal one so it doesn't really affect the look of the car that much. Um, and the last thing you can do, if you wish to, in my opinion, wreck the car, um, you can change it from rear wheel drive to all wheel drive. Um, no, we're just not going to do that to this car. It, this car is worth more than sticking it in all wheel drive. Um, so that should give you S1900. Um, I'm going to have a look at the tune now. So tyres front 28.5 and rear 27.5. Uh, gearing, you can see that on screen. I'm not going to go through them all. I have got the gears quite stretched. Um, if you look at the bars at the bottom right, you can only see the first five. Uh, six is actually off the scale. Um, that's to try and reduce some of the wheel spin that you get with this car. Um, alignment, negative 2 and negative 1.5 for camber. Uh, 0 2 on the front and negative 0 0.3 on the rear and the caster angle um, is 6. Anti-roll bars 33.32 and 30.76. Uh, springs 881.3 and 709.6. Um, ride height 7.9 and 7.9 although the rear is slightly lower. Um, damping uh, 8.4 and 7.3 and bump stiffness is 5.9 and 4.9. Aero maxed out give us uh, grip as we can. Uh, brake balance, this is what I've got, is 47% and 107% but you can obviously change that as you feel um, for your car. So this is probably the one thing that varies quite a lot for different people um, so to change those to your preference. Uh, finally differential, I've got 13% and 29% um, and that should give you the stats on the left. Um, 0 to 60 in 3.8, 0 to 100 in 7.2, top speed of 206 and I have got it over 200 um, so it is pretty close um, to that top speed as well but if you do change the gearbox in it, put the race gearbox, let me know if that uh, increases the top speed or anymore because I know you speed freaks out there uh, like to drive fast. Uh, braking distance uh, and that will geez there ain't too bad um, but overall this car, um, we'll just take it out for a little spin now, it doesn't handle um, too bad, say 900 horsepower in a rear wheel drive car is always going to be a bit of a handful, um, especially when it's an old muscle car. So what we're going to do now, uh, what you would do, oh I have a wheel spin, let's spin the wheel, sorry for this, I didn't mean to do this but we'll have a look anyways, we've got a car with credits, uh, we've got 66,000 credits, nice, we'll take those. Um, and we'll just take it for a little spin now. Can't find the road. Now, I think it does handle really, really well off road as well. You have got that massive amount of power though in the uh, rear wheels that do just want to spin the car around constantly. I'll try and find the road. And here somewhere. It's not really helping me because I'm missing all the road. Road here, I see the road. Take it for a blast. He will get a bit of oversteer when you get on the power, you just have to use a bit of throttle control. Um, as I said, 900 horsepower in a car like this is always going to be a handful. Across on 
the left upper seat. Now this raising as well makes it even better, which could be more difficult for those rear wheel uh, tyres to actually get any glue whatsoever. So as you can see, it doesn't steer too, uh, doesn't handle too bad. It's, uh, it's not the best handling car in the world. It's a Dodge Charger with 900 horsepower, let's say. Um, but yeah, it works out pretty, pretty well for me. And um, what, how can you not love that uh, the engine coming out the bottom there? That uh, is probably the best looking thing in the whole of this game. Uh, well, there you go, guys. That's uh, my building tune for Dom's Dodge Charger. Um, let me know in the comments below if you test it out, uh, how you get on with it, and if you make any changes and how it uh, handles and affects the car because I'd be interested in trying those out myself and until my next video I'll see you all soon